What's up YouTube? Today we're going to take a look at lead code problem number 1084, Sales Analysis 3, Marked as Easy. Let's get into it. So just like in Sales Analysis 1 and 2, we have a table called Product, which contains product information and Sales, which contains Sales numbers. Our task is to write an SQL query that reports the products that were only sold in Spring 2019. That is between 2019 01, 01, 1st of January 2019, and 31st of March 2019 inclusive, so also on these dates. The query result format should be in the following product ID and product name for products that were only sold in spring 2019. Let's get started. So we're going to start off by selecting product ID and product name because that's what we should output. Product name from product joining sales and we're joining on product ID. Okay. And since product ID is in both tables, we need to specify which which one we want to output. So let's get product product dot product ID and product name. I'll add that as well, even though it's only in product. And if we run that code, we should only get these as an output. We get product ID two twice because it appears twice in the sales table. And now let's take a look at sales information. We don't need to output that, but we can use it in our filters. So. We want to make sure sales have only taken place in spring 2019. We have the dates and we have sale information in terms of sale dates. So on which dates were these product, products sold. So how do we make sure that they have only been sold between this time period? Between 1st of, March, uh, 1st of January and 31st of March 2019. Well, we need to make sure that our lowest sale date, our first sale date, is in that time frame and that our highest sale date is also still in that time frame. And we're going to do that using a group by to only do this filtering for each product ID and not mix up the products when we take a look at sale dates. And we're going to have to use having because we're filtering on aggregate functions. In this case, min and max to get the highest or first sales state and the last sales state. That would be the highest, max. So if we put sale date in here and make sure that the minimum sale date, first selling date for, let's say, the G4, because that's in here twice. That should be higher than our starting date or higher or equal to our starting date. So let's put that in quotes, make sure it's recognized as a date. And yeah, so that establishes that condition of our first sales state for that G4 to be at least on this date, 1st of January 2019. And now we want to make sure that the last sales date is also in the time range. So we're going to use max to get the highest sale date, which is by definition the latest one, the most recent. And that should be smaller than or equal to the highest date in spring 2019. So let's just copy that as well, put it in quotes, and see what that gives us. It gives us an accepted output. Let's submit that and see if it gets accepted as well. It's also accepted. And yeah, what we're doing here basically is we're getting the highest and lowest sale date first and most recent sales date per product 
by using min and max and then we're using having to be able to filter on that per product ID and then we only need the product name from the product table because sales information was only in the sales table that's why we need that join and that's how we establish that condition of sales only taking place in spring 2019 using min and max on date and that's pretty much it for that problem I think it's a quite creative use of having and usually you would use that to look up an average being at least this high or at most this high or a sum or a count but using it on dates is a bit more advanced and that's why I think this is probably harder than easy say maybe medium even though our code is quite short you need to know how to use having and kind of get towards that creative use of it um, I also have videos on sales analysis 1 and 2 and videos on a lot of other SQL lead code problems which you can check out in the playlist link below and in the end screen and I'll see you all next time hopefully make sure you subscribe to get these videos in your sub feed and always get a reminder to keep studying these lead code problems see you next time